สวัสดีครับ and welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PBCPhuket.com I'm Chris Housen filling in for JP m a s t a n z a Now these are the stories making waves in Phuket for Wednesday, April 10. t h A short circuit is believed to have started a fire that caused extensive damage to a house in Sisun Torn last night. Telang police and municipality fire trucks arrived at the scene to find the house already ablaze. The 71-year-old owner told officers he smelled smoke and heard a sound like firecrackers from the front of the house. When he went to investigate, he found sparks falling from the ceiling, which soon caught fire. The elderly man attempted to put out the fire by himself before calling emergency services when the blaze became unmanageable. Fire investigators are continuing their investigation to confirm the cause of the fire. No injuries have been reported. Gamala police and a b a t h a are taking steps to prevent more people from driving vehicles onto the popular tourist beach. This move follows yet another foreign tourist caught driving a motorbike this time on the beach yesterday. Previously, a Thai tourist was fined a thousand baht for driving on the beach while on holiday with his family, and another incident last month left a jeep abandoned on the beach while the tide came in. Gamala officials plan to have a barrier installed at the ramp used by jet ski and parasail operators to prevent the public from using it to access the beach, with operators instructed to close the barrier behind them each time they use it. They will also install warning signs and launch a public awareness campaign so people know that taking motorbikes and cars onto the beach is prohibited. No injuries have been reported after a fire broke out at the Treasury Department of the Ratsada Municipality Office Building. After smoke was spotted billowing out of the first floor, municipality staffers sounded the alarm and evacuated the building before cutting off the electricity to the area. It took firefighters 45 minutes to extinguish the blaze, while the mayor and other staffers watched from a safe distance. At this stage, the cause of the fire is believed to have been an electrical short circuit, with damage only to documents and the ceiling of the Treasury Department. Exactly which documents had been destroyed has yet to be revealed. Phuket Immigration has announced the arrest of one Russian and two Pakistani men for overstaying their visas. The Russian man, named as 46-year-old Mr. Sergey, was found to have overstayed by 351 days. Acting on a tip-off, officers stopped the Russian national by the side of the road near k o k e l However, while being questioned, he attempted to flee, and officers had to give chase. The man suffered abrasions on both knees and arms. And his left heel in the scuffle that followed before being taken into custody by immigration forces. On another tip-off, officers arrested two Pakistani nationals at a rented room in Batong, both of whom were unable to present passports or any evidence they had permission to remain in the country. Brought to Batong police station, it was discovered that the two had also illegally stayed in Thailand for 398 and 327 days, respectively. They have been charged with illegally staying in the country, and the governor of Phuket has led the official ceremony to announce the beginning of the annual road and water safety campaign for the Songkran holidays. Now known simply as the Seven Days Campaign, it'll run from April 11th to 17th, commencing at midnight tonight. Nationwide, last year the Songkran holidays saw 246 people killed in road accidents. While for Phuket, the death tally was five, with 51 hospitalizations. The government noted that speeding, drunk driving, cutting people off, driving without a license, and not wearing a helmet are all key factors involved in the road accidents. Throughout the seven days campaign, there will be 11 main checkpoints set up across the island, with a further 19 community checkpoints to help enforce the law and make the roads safer. That's all for Phuket Extra today. Brought to you by PVCPhuket.com.
For more on all these stories and more, please visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.